Hi, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about how to increase IGF-1 and IGF-2. So what is the IGF-1 and IGF-2? So basically, we will concern with the IGF-1. So what is the IGF-1? IGF-1 is the insulin-like growth factor 1. This insulin-like growth factor 1 work like a insulin, but it is different than insulin. Let's understand about what is the function of the IGF-1. Basically, IGF-1 work like insulin also and it will create the GLUT4 channel in the absence of insulin. So, absence of the insulin, it will work to metabolism of the glucose. So, absorb the glucose in the muscle, absorb the glucose in the liver and metabolism like glycogenesis in the liver and muscle will occur. So, how it is possible to boost during the exercise, the breakdown of the muscle and depletion of the glycogen in the muscle and in the liver will occur. But when we we'll go into the sleep mode, when we will recovery phase, whenever you will be eat, so the IGF-1 also increase but insulin also increase. But when we will drop the insulin with the inhibition of the glucose intake, which that will amplify more IGF-1. How it is possible? Let's understand about that. When insulin when dropped, when you will not eat sugar, even you will go into the fasting after the gym, after the exercise more. In this way, the IGF-1 will be stimulated due to the stimulation of the growth hormone because insulin when drop, so the glucose will be uh, <laughs> increased in your body, uh, uh, not possible. So in this way, the insulin will be dropped and the buffering of the insulin will stimulate the hypothalamus to trigger the growth hormone. Growth hormone is also known as the somatostatin, which that release from the anterior pituitary gland in going to the blood circulatory system and target to the liver and muscle and when target to the liver and muscle so the uh, growth hormone it will bind with the growth hormone receptor uh, because it is the uh, lipophobic white the hydrophilic uh, so in this way the water soluble but the lipid insoluble so that is why it will be bind with the liver li uh, hepatocyte with the receptor it will uh, trigger the cascade of phosphorylation will occur and in this way the, uh, uh, tr uh, trigger the DNA to enhance the transcription to the translation of that gene which that produce the IGF-1 uh, receptor gene so the IGF-1 receptor gene as well as it will create the more IGF-1 receptor in the muscle and liver but also the IGF-1 uh, 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 molecule will be uh, transcribed because it is a protein because insulin like growth factor 1 so in this way this is the factor and insulin is also the polypeptide and this is also polypeptide and it will release into the blood circulatory system will target to the muscle from the liver or uh, muscle to the liver and liver to the muscle because the growth hormone also target to the muscle and in this way it will bind with the autocrinally paracrinally or endocrinally and it will metabolize how it is possible that glucose will be intake more and in this way the glucose uh, intake uh, how it is possible when you will go into the fasting even so it will be triggered more during the fasting but uh, how to absorb the sugar because the gluconeogenesis in the liver from the lipolysis the fat degradation which that improve the glucose due to the gluconeogenesis in the liver to enhance the glucose into the blood circulatory system and that glucose will be used due to the IGF-1 which that will create the GLUT4 channel and enter the uh, glucose into the uh, muscle, the myocyte and uh, into the liver. This is the mechanism for the metabolism of the glucose but on the other hand also the cell proliferation uh, will be increased and the cell growth will be increased but sometimes people say that the IGF-1 is uh, cause the breast cancer or other type of cancer and I have video on that you can watch that breast cancer due to the IGF-1 uh, uh, you can search that I have a video about that but anyhow the IGF-1 enhancement 
which that will be beneficial for proliferation of the cell for example satellite cell will be reside on the myocyte to a synthesis of the more myocyte myofiber and more synthesis of myofiber and more synthesis of actin and myosin protein due to the cascade of phosphorylation uh, will trigger the gene transcription to translation of the actin myosin troponin titin and uh, will increase the sarcomere basically in this the muscle will be grow so igf1 is uh, enhanced by the fasting will increase the muscle growth increase the bone growth and the metabolism of the glucose metabolism of the protein even and on the other hand the fasting will trigger the lipolysis and the lipids go into the liver and produce more uh, more uh, 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 gluconeogenesis to produce more glucose and that glucose will be used with the igf1 receptor so igf1 so that will be metabolism but also the lipolysis will trigger the cholesterol through hmg co hmg co uh, a enzyme the which that will lead to produce more cholesterol and cholesterol will increase the testosterone and testosterone also triggers sometime the insulin like growth factor one but the uh, not any uh, study will show but it can be uh, regard to me uh, i am thinking about that just because the testosterone will also grow the muscle so that is why the igf1 will enhance for some time but the medication also stimulate the igf1 because the muscle growth and for the insulin resistance when occurs so the insulin like growth factor one will be work so insulin like growth factor one also stimulate due to the metformin metformin will bind with the adipose oh sorry uh, hepatocyte to enhance the insulin like growth factor one and the insulin like growth factor one receptor in this way the more more glucose metabolism due to the hyperglycemia will clear by the insulin like growth factor one through mat farming using this is known as a glucophage or glucophage so that is the medication also stimulate sometime people inject the igf1 which that is not too much good because the exogenously igf1 stimulation will inhibit the endogenous production of igf1 so this is the mechanism of the insulin like growth factor which that bone density work and synthesis of the glycogen and synthesis of the protein and a lot more things which that will lead to grow so igf1 is the anabolic whenever you will also inject the growth hormone if so the growth hormone will also enhance the igf1 second uh, pr uh, because the primary stimulation of the growth hormone which that will trigger the insulin like growth factor one so that is why the basically is the function of the igf1 is that and how to increase this by this mechanism fasting and the metformin on the other hand the more exercise and more sleeping due to the recovery which that will lead to enhance the igf1 so I hope you make sense about that. If you like my video, please make sure to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video for this one. Bye.